An update here on the state. Two-thirds of Californians could soon be getting stimulus checks. Governor Gavin Newsom making that proposal today. Marla Tay is here with the details. He did so from Oakland as well. Alex and Christine, the governor wants to give middle-class families making up to $75,000 a year a stimulus check of $600. Those families with children could get an extra $500. We're very mindful that that stimulus alone of $600, $500 for families with children and those I-10 filers uh, is not enough to address the stress, the anxiety over the course of the last year plus in this. So in addition to the direct stimulus payments, Newsom also proposed $5 billion to assist people who have fallen behind in their rents. He wants to pay for all that back rent. He also wants to provide another $2 billion to cover utility payments. The money will come from a proposed budget surplus. This time last year, we announced a $54.3 billion projected shortfall. Today, we are announcing a projected 70. $5.7 billion budget surplus. It's a remarkable turnaround. We talked about California coming back. I made the point at the State of the State a number of months ago, California is not coming back. California is going to come roaring back. Complicating matters, as you know, Newsom faces a recall election likely in November. Republican Kevin Faulkner, the former mayor of San Diego, is just one of the people running to replace Newsom. He tweeted out a statement. It reads, in part, Californians need permanent, real tax relief, not just one-time stimulus checks. Our state is unaffordable because of Gavin Newsom's failed leadership, which has forced countless families to flee our state. Now, Governor Newsom, though, isn't just proposing rebate checks out of the goodness of his heart. There is history to this. California's passed a law back in the 1970s requiring the state to give money to taxpayers if the surplus hits a certain limit. Well, a spokesperson for the California Department of Finance tells the Associated Press the state will be more than $16 billion over that threshold, hence the tax rebate proposal that will go before the overwhelmingly Democratic legislature. Alex and Christine.